ओके डी स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट इज देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर इज कनेक्टेड टू अ बैटरी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन अ शीट ऑफ डायइलेक्ट्रिक मटेरियल इज इंसर्टेड बिटवीन द प्लेट्स विदाउट डिसकनेक्टिंग द बैटरी नाउ द थिंग इज दैट वी आर नॉट डिसकनेक्टिंग द बैटरी दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस देयर आर टू केसेस इन व्हिच यू कैन एक्चुअली डू समथिंग लाइक यू आर एडिंग द Uh, this thing dielectric into the capacitor so this is um, there are two different variations that are possible here and let me tell you what so uh, let me talk about the case number 1 so what happens here is let us say there is this capacitor and it is connected with the battery and battery is not disconnected and dielectric is uh, inserted into the capacitor space so what happens here so you must be knowing it that the capacitance is given by epsilon not a divided by d where epsilon not is the permittivity of the space or the air while there is no dielectric inside of it if there is a dielectric the new capacitance is actually given by epsilon a by d where epsilon is like epsilon the permittivity of the medium now the permittivity of medium like let us say the dielectric constant for the dielectric is given as k so permittivity of medium is given by k times permittivity of space that is the formula so this epsilon can be uh, substituted in this and it will become epsilon not k a divided by d which clearly says that the capacitance will be multiplied by the dielectric constant it means that the new capacitance is definitely going to increase and it is going to become k times so capacitance is definitely going to increase so the first option is capacitance is unchanged so this is absolutely wrong whether the battery is connected or whether it is not connected new capacitance will be k times the initial capacitance that is clear now let us talk about uh, the charge stored the energy and the potential difference potential difference is a function of the battery if the battery is connected with it potential difference is not going to change it means that even d is wrong because here the capacity the battery is not disconnected and so there is no chance that the potential difference across the plate be changed because that is what is the job of a battery and battery is not disconnected so clearly even d is wrong let us talk about the charge and the energy now so q is given by c into v and if c the capacitance has now been multiplied by dielectric potential remaining constant because it is across the battery so i can clearly say that this is becoming k times so even the charge is becoming k times clearly battery is the source of charge and it is not disconnected but the capacity of the capacitance has increased by k times it means that now you are having a biggest bigger bucket but the tap is still running and the water is coming into the bucket but now the bucket is bigger which only means that now more water will be flowing into the bucket clearly here also there is more charge which is flowing from the battery and it is going towards the capacitance capacitor it means that capac the charge is also going to be multiplied by dielectric constant it says that the charge store decreases so even b is wrong clearly c should be the correct answer but we will see about this also energy stored is increased let us see about the energy so the initial energy will be given by half cv square i'm going to use this formula instead of using q square by 2c and others because there will be two variables q is changing and c is also changing potential remains the same so this formula becomes very helpful so i have chosen this to be used clearly the potential is not changing capacitance becomes k times so the new energy is also becoming k times like instead of c we would be using c dash and that will become k times c so clearly even the energy has become k times so c is absolutely correct okay now this is case number 1 as i have earlier told you but now i am going to tell you what is case number 2 although it is not asked in the question just because i want to teach with the help of the question no so that is why we are going for case number 2 that is very very important so in this uh, case you can note this thing that the capacitance is k times charge is again k times and the energy is also k times but the potential remains the same so v is equal to v dash even this is a point to remember now let us go for the another case when the battery is disconnected now let us say this is the capacitor 
and it was connected with the battery with a switch here and earlier the switch was on and so the charging took place and q is the charge which was stored on the capacitor already <clears throat> v is the potential of the of the battery now the switch is on it is working and that is why the capacitor is getting charged so let me create the this scene like c is equal to f sin naught a by d the charge q is q is equal to c into v the energy will be given by like half cv square we would be using other formulas also q c and v and the potential across the capacitor is given by v but now in case number 2 what happens is i am disconnecting the battery so now the battery is not connected anymore and so the charge is charge cannot flow so technically i can even remove this branch so it's only a capacitor now sorry so it's only a capacitor now in our diagram this is case number 2 now now i choose to put the dielectric into the capacitor when there is no battery clearly we know that the capacitance will become k times i told you that whether it is connected to the battery or whether it is not the capacitor is going to be k times so this is k times the capacitance c dash is equal to kc the new charge what will happen to the new charge but there is a problem uh, now yeah new charge will also it will remain same why because the circuit is not complete and charge can not flow neither the charge can go towards the capacitor nor the charge can leave the capacitor because it is no longer a circuit it's not a circuit anymore so where the charge will go definitely charge cannot flow and that is why the charge is going to remain the same now let us talk about the energy now uh, we will talk about the potential first so this is the potential and clearly q is equal to cv so v is equal to uh, q divided by c so q remains the same but the capacitance is multiplied by k so this becomes v divided by k which means that now the potential is divided by the dielectric constant it means now the potential difference across the parallel plates it will be k times lesser okay so this is k times lesser now now what about uh, the energy so capacitance is now k times and the potential is divided by k so it will become v square divided by k square clearly the energy is divided by the dielectric constant it means that the energy stored in the capacitor has reduced by k times so this is what is happening in case 2 clear when the battery is disconnected i told you that this is one of the most important piece of information that they have given in the question so this is how we do it and these are the things that you need to remember so if there is any other doubt uh, in this topic you can ask me this question is a repeat telecast question again and many uh, questions there those who are using these concepts so it's very important for you to watch this video couple of times okay so this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel also please join the youtube channel if you want to access the paper to solutions with this kind of an explanation all the best bye